Hey Pisces. So this is going to be um, a check-in with your person, how they feel about you. Um, I'll put a timeline in the description. I don't really want to give a time because I don't feel like you know, timing really means anything because everything happens in divine time, right? So for um, Pisces person, how are they? What we're gonna do, I guess, before I start, is I'll do um, a read on their current past feelings about you, and then how they currently feel about you. I'll pull a couple of cards to see how you're feeling about them. We'll do mutual, and then we'll see if we can gather what an outcome might be. So that's how it's gonna um, go. Hopefully you guys like this reading and hopefully um, if it is on your heart to subscribe or like the video or leave a good comment, I would appreciate that too. All right, so here we go for Pisces. In the recent past, how did the person in Pisces' mind feel about them? The person that Pisces is thinking of in the recent past. about the Pisces in the recent past, this person. All right, so this is this is how they feel about you. So how your person is feeling that's on your mind um, with the overall um, energy at the bottom, uh, the five of cups. So your person, um, I'm feeling like I don't feel like you guys are in communication. I feel like in the recent past, they are, um, I'm just looking at the cards, I'm sorry. So let me just get them out. We got the Five of Swords. The Six of Swords. Three of Cups, and then the Knight of Pentacles. So, I'm just going to take a second. I promise I won't be long. I'm just going to look at these and just see what I'm feeling. Feel like so the energy um, that they have over you or the, what they're feeling about you in the recent past is maybe um, conflicted on whether to be with you or to move away from you um, I feel like this person might have had other options for some reason, I feel like, so this is how they're feeling about you. Either you had other options or they did, and they didn't like it if you had other options because what they want from you is the, um, they want an offer of commitment is how they're feeling. Either they're feeling like they want that from you or you want that, they want that from you or they want to offer that to you. But what I'm feeling is, um, too, is that maybe because um, if you're dealing, you, I feel like maybe you're, maybe this person in the recent past, you were, you were taking so long to move towards them that they might have moved away from you because you took too long and they're conflicted about the situation. Um, with the three of cups. That can be a celebration. It could be coming together. It could be um, a third party situation. But I feel like, for some reason, I feel like your person 
they want us they they wanted something stable with you but they weren't getting it from you and you know the five the fives are all about conflicts and i feel like this person is just conflicted on moving they want movement either way but with this being the overall energy the five of cups i feel like your person how they're feeling about you is you're not giving them what they want and i almost feel like they're moving away from you and they're going to go look for what they want but let's just see how they're currently feeling i, I hope that that makes sense because I'm, I'm just i'm just getting this really heavy feeling of your person moving away from you because they didn't get what they wanted from you. It could be reversed. Let's see how they're currently feeling. The person that Pisces is thinking about, how are they currently feeling about Pisces? How is this person currently feeling about Pisces? So they want, this being the overall energy, they want a victory with you. They want forward movement with you. This is, um, maybe you're just taking too long. That's how I feel. You were taking too long. And this person might have just had the demons come over them and think the worst of the worst situation. So they are, they might have moved away from you. Um, if you want this person back, I do feel like they want you. But let's check out the next cards that, are coming out because um, you're going to have a little bit of issues with this person. Um, so if you're Pisces, just somebody who is kind of uh, in consistent and maybe how they feel or what they want, maybe you, maybe you just don't know what you want, but you like this person, but you're not committing to them. You might have told them that you like them and, or even love them or whatever, whatever is going on with you. This is, just how I'm feeling they're feeling about you. I feel like, so the cards that came out are the Two of Swords. The Seven of Wands. The Nine of Wands. And the Eight of Pentacles. So how they're feeling about you is, it can be either they feel about you They're going to be guarded if you choose to approach them because of how, I guess, um, stagnant I feel the relationship has been. They're going to be guarded. They're going to protect themselves. Um, and I don't really see, with the Two of Swords, you know, that's just somebody who is really just, I feel like, uh, given no Fs, I'm just going to sit here and do me. I'm, I'm going to ignore the situation and just focus, focus on myself, focus on work, focus on my home. I feel like your person um, has completely left you because you aren't offering them. I don't feel like they're the knight. I feel like you're the knight of pentacles in the recent past. For some reason, I'm just feeling that you're the knight of pentacles and you are just moving too slow. So they're moving away from you. Um, and they're going to be guarded probably because they didn't get the explanation that they wanted from you um, or the commitment so they're moving away thinking that you're not interested and if that's the case and you are interested I feel like you just need to tell them so if you guys have just slowly disconnected and have slowly just drizzled off the top but you really like this person I feel like they're waiting for you to come to them um, I did see the uh, ace of pentacles too earlier um, they want something with you but if they're not talking to you I feel like it's because they're waiting for you to make that move and if you know, don't let a, a good thing go just because you guys feel like, oh, this person doesn't like me, so I just I should just move on. If you really like the person, I feel like they really like you, so you, but they're waiting for you to make the next forward movement because they do have this card. This is the feelings. How are they feeling about you? Um, the bottom of the deck is the overall energy, so they want this with you, but they're going to wait for you to make the move because I feel like in the past, you were just taking your time. Um, and, and, you know, maybe there's just too, a uh, lack of communication. 
And for some reason, I don't feel like anything, I, don't, I just feel like nothing bad is happening, but there's just no communication. So let's see what your energy is like. How does Pisces currently feel about their person? This is how you currently feel about them. You want this new beginning with this person that's on your mind. Um, you look at this person as somebody who has their shit together, is focused, is driven, and that's probably what they're doing. So you're looking at them as in like, you're already looking at them like that. Um, you feel like you do want to reach out is the energy that I'm feeling on your half. You do. The page is, a, you know, a messenger. Um, and it's probably going to be something. You guys all know what that card is. This card just cracks me up. I'm like, look at the, the tip of it. Just the tip. Is that what you're going to send them? Is that the message you're going to send them? Just the tip. <laughs> Just joking. Oh my God. You feel very good about this person. You want this person. And if you think that they don't want you, I, I think that you're mistaken. Um, let's see what the mutual energies are between you and your person. Aww. Mutual energies. All oh, you guys. Dang, again, Pisces. What is all this going on? You're a water sign, not a fire sign. Overall energy is um, mutual. You guys are, um, you guys are mutually passionate about each other, but you, I feel like, are mutually in and out of each other's lives. And your person just got tired of it. Um, and I think that you guys probably just separated yourselves from each other. That's how I'm feeling. That's got to be because you know, you got the moon card for mutual energies. So this person or you, you guys could just be in your heads thinking this person has secrets. They're not talking to me. They're seeing some other people are talking to other people are being shady, but really you're not. Uh, look at that. All right. You both are waiting for your ships to arrive. You're waiting for your person to come in. They're waiting for you to come in. This is the mutual energy. And then this is what you both want. You both want this. I feel like if one of you guys just reach out to the other one, it's going to be okay. So let's see. Um, I'm going to do uh, what action does your person take towards you? And if we don't see any action, then I'll see on your end if you're going to take any action. So what action does uh, Scorpio's person take towards them? What action... I don't know if I just called you a Scorpio, but I'm sorry if I did. What action does Pisces person take towards them? So what action? They want fresh communication with you. Um, So Pisces, I don't know if you're actually going to have to do anything. I think you guys, I'm, I'm just going to tell you this. I think if you just give them a little sliver of wanting to talk, they're going to pull out of that. Remember all that energy that we had in their current and recent past? So they're going to come out of that energy. They're going to come out of this woe is me energy. And they are going to 
be right there with you, I feel like. And it could be, um, you know, I'm asking what action are they going to take. I'm not looking at this as in and out energy. I think they're, I think if you reach out to them first, you're going to see more forward movement than you expect. I don't feel like they're going to play you how maybe they felt played as long as you um, honestly communicate what was going on with you. You could just be a shy person and you don't have to talk about your feelings. It could just be something as little as that. All right, so we're going to do some romance angels. Maybe I'll both just sit them because these, these cards don't want to come out. So there could be some stagnation because um, we got the religious factors. So that could play a part into somebody being quiet. Maybe you've met somebody that um, has a different focus than you or you, them, or whatever. That could be it. Um, but we also got the past life relationship. So I do feel like um, you've known each other before. And it, you know, it could be somebody from uh, the 3D back in school work or whatever. But it also could be in relation to um, the deeper way back. So this is give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership, which is what I'm thinking you both know you need to do. And flirt, oh, that might be where all that wand energy came from, huh? Extend your lighthearted energy to others. And then I have this little tiny deck that I created. So I'm just gonna pull a couple of little messages to see if we got anything good going on. So we have the driven by ego. So your person is more ego than um, spiritual right now. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Is it, is it, is it gonna focus? Is it gonna focus? I'm sorry. Yeah, driven by ego. Um, and then we got distorted masculine. Shadow work. So there could be something going on in this situation that is just a little bit deeper. And I don't know who the masculine is, but the masculine is going to be the one that disappeared. Um, and I feel like this message is for the person who is not distorted or on shadow work is you just meditate and focus and focus on your prayer focus on what you want focus on your manifestations and everything will will come to you so pisces um i hope that you've enjoyed the video if you do please um, comment like share subscribe subscribe <laughs> thank you guys i love you